Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, well, more questions and answers for anybody that is still wondering if the uh, October 2020 update or version 20H2 is out or not. And there's still a kind of confusion I see here on a lot of people thinking that it's not out. Uh, yes, it is out. I've seen a few people that I uh, removed a comment saying, no, no, this is insider only. No, it's not insider only. The uh, version of 20H2, the October 2020 update, is officially out. So you can get it if you go to Windows Update. If it shows up in Windows Update, it means that it's ready for you. Uh, all you have to do is click the Update button, download and install now. It's not automatic. Uh, some people are saying, well, you know, I'm, uh, I, I don't have it. My computer is not restarting. You have to seek it. It's what Microsoft uses as a term right now, seeking. That means you go to Windows Updates, you check for updates, and there should be something that is optional, which is the um, 20H2 or the uh, new feature update for the October 2020 update. The uh, other thing also, a lot of people are confused as to what version uh, of Windows they have. And one of that, of course, one of that confusion comes from the fact that a lot of people uh, have the same ending and think 19042, 19041 is the same thing. Well, it's not. So if you're on the May 2020 update, version 2004, you're on 19041. If you're on the October 2020 update, you're on 19042. It's very important. The ending is the same because they are the same version of Windows. So .572 is the ending. Now, a uh, this week, there probably will be a bug fixing update for both versions. So both the 19041 and 19042 will possibly get a bug fixing update this week as there is a release preview um, update that was released for um, for the um, October 2020 update, which is the same anyways as the May 2020 update. So some of you uh, came back and said, well, I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, meet now button in the taskbar. It'll show up uh, probably during the week. It's rolling out right now. If you don't have it, don't worry. It's going to eventually be there. Uh, it's a feature rolling out with a cumulative update. So uh, if we do have this week a bug fixing update, both for version 2004 and for the October 2020 update, the Meet Now button will probably show up. Uh, so that's going to be uh, coming either this week or next week, but I think this week is possibly the week it's going to happen. Also... Um, you know, there's a lot of people that uh, wonder if, um, you know, what are the features. I have videos already that you can check out. So just look at all my videos concerning features of uh, 20H2. You pretty much will see all of what is available. Uh, for those that have been forced upgrade, or some of you are and don't want to be forced upgrade to um, this right now, well, you're not forced upgrade, but... Remember that the trick that we have when we um, go on the uh, on on the connectivity of the network, um, you know, when you check out your network properties, uh, you can still you can still choose and select as a metered connection. This will set a limit of data. That means that big updates like version twenty oh four, like even this uh, cumulative update for um, October 2020 update will not show up because they are bigger than, you know, they are updates that are not essential right now, but that is, um, you know, eventually going to happen at some point that will stop it from downloading and installing. But remember, these are not forced on you, except for those that are close to the end of support. Once again, end of support, two versions are getting there. In a couple of weeks, end of support will have arrived for 1809. This version was actually extended. It was supposed to end in May. And, um, well, they extended the 1809 to make sure that people don't have to update absolutely 
to a new version while there's this COVID thing and people work from home. But that is coming to an end. Uh, in Patch Tuesday of uh, November, you'll have your last security updates. That means you'll need to move on to some newer version of Windows 10. Also, those of you that are on the May 2019 update, 1903, that version is coming to an end with Patch Tuesday of December. You are also getting close to end of support. Remember, every version of Windows 10 for consumers, 18 months. And so uh, this is, of course, um, a small package once again. A lot of people asking me for the size. It's very small. Um, since it's not a big, huge feature update, it just adds or switches on some minor uh, features. It is a small update that doesn't have much more than a several hundred megabytes download. It's it's not a gigabyte download, that's for sure. Install time, I get a lot of comments on that. Well, for most people, it's pretty fast. Uh, so if you're one of those uh, installing it, you should see that it's not that long. But you know, that is very, very different from machine to machine. If you have a solid state drive or not, the age of your machine. So it can go anywhere from, you know, five, 10 minutes to uh, half an hour to an hour. But this does not take a full day. If it does, you got something wrong on your PC, that's for sure. This takes, uh, it's less than an hour for the majority of people that will install this. So uh, remember that. As for the rest, well, we're going to move on to uh, next year. Is the next time we're going to have something new for Windows 10. Right now, the question that I get asked a lot is, is it still only one update next year? For now, the info we have is still that. it's We're going to have one update at the end of next year, which will be 21H2. And there's no spring update in the works for now, apparently, because it, they're working on uh, what is the Windows 10 X operating system. So these are the questions and answers that I have for this week. And if you don't see the uh, Windows 10 October 2020 update, don't worry. It'll show up eventually. It's not rolling out to everyone.